Hello everyone and welcome back. In this video we are going to set up our signaling server. So I'll put the source link of the GitHub in description section. So you can download it. And to make it work you just have to uh, open your terminal and just run npm install. In case you don't have npm, you just have to download the npm and install it. Uh, pretty straightforward. After installing the modules, you will see that uh, the modules will be added here, so you're ready to use it. But in case if you want to rewrite the whole course, it's okay, I'll just explain to you that what's going on. First, we create an HTTP server, then we add uh, a socket on top of it, like this. We do hold a reference of our users array, and we do have some types of uh, signalings like signing, start connection, offer answer, and ice candidate. And after that, I'll create my WebSocket object. And after that, I'll set a listener on it. Uh, it's called request listener. And after each request, I'll accept and create a connection using the request. And on top of it, I'll set two listener on the connection. One of them is on message and on close. On the closing situation, I'll just remove the user from our whole user array list and whenever we receive a message from a user we will parse the data model of it and see that what is the data type of our data model so in each case we do something like in sign in case we just check if the user exists just return if it doesn't we push the user to our array list. and to start the connection we just transfer the signal to the other guy uh, using this function uh, just stringify our message and send it to the connection that we are receiving from this variable and just uh, casual stuff uh, start connection offer answer and ice candidate will be just transferred to the other peer to make them ready uh, to establish the connection and nothing too shabby so if you want to run your signaling server you just have to run uh, npm start and you'll see your server is up and running and ready to be used okay that's it for our signaling server let's go back to creating our android application